from the station working for you. This is an RTV6 update. Hello, I'm Mark Mullins, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. A Greenfield couple may lose their home of more than 25 years after a crash knocked it off its foundation. Here's what the home on West 7th Street looks like now after a car slammed into it Monday night. Kathy Elkins and her husband were sitting on the couch watching TV when it happened. Car come down here just to fly in and turned the corner and she missed the corner and went right into the house. Scary. Yeah, it really was. Two people ran from the crash but were eventually caught by police. Help is on the way for drivers concerned about an intersection they say is dangerous. Earl Bolander near, lives near State Road 13 and State Road 67 in Fortville. He's taken pictures of the aftermath of crashes at that intersection. He and several other neighbors tell RTV6 it's hard to see when turning from 13 onto 67. Over the past nine years, I've seen a, probably a couple dozen crashes here. Um, motorcycle sliding under cars. Uh, NDOT snowplow getting its plow knocked off when it's trying to turn left. I've seen multiple crashes there and even more so near misses. Um, I myself have had difficulty at that intersection. Before long, there's, there's going to be a fatality because there's nothing they can do except put a light in this intersection. Working for URTV6 found out the Department of Transportation is planning to install a traffic signal at the intersection. The project was delayed from this year to next year because the department thought it needed to acquire land, but that turned out to be incorrect. The bidding process starts in March. A puppy has a new loving home following a call six investigation into the city's animal overpopulation problem. We told you earlier this month, Indianapolis Animal Care Services has become increasingly reliant on foster homes. Bolt had been in foster care since June, one of 600 animals in foster homes. However, after our story aired, a couple adopted Bolt. They say he's doing well and slowly adjusting to life with a new family. If Bolt's story inspires you, click on this story in the RTV6 app for information on adopting and fostering. Snow showers ending, but we have got plenty of cold. In fact, as you're heading out the door in the morning, wind chills are going to be in the single digits to start off our Wednesday. Even as we approach the lunch hour, only going to feel like it's about 10 degrees outside and afternoon wind chills into the 20s. I think Wednesday is going to be a dry day. In fact, we'll start off with some sunshine as temperatures make their way into the lower 30s. The clouds return, but we'll keep things dry here for the middle of the week. That does change Thursday night, but we're also going to warm up those temperatures. Highs into the 40s Thursday afternoon actually into the 50s by Saturday looks like quite a bit of rain coming our way and we'll carry those rain chances into early next week. Kyle, thank you. And for more stories and weather you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. I'm Mark Mullins. Thanks for joining us.